two, one. Hi, this is Greg with 31 events and calendarsnack.com. Today is Monday, uh, Veterans Day, May 27th, 2019. I'm going to drop right into a full screen. Again, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to run you through uh, the topic of MailChimp CTA for RSVPs. So call to action, how do you set up RSVPs using calendarsnack.com. I'm going to drop right into it. Um, here you go. Send us a calendar invite from your calendar. Send it to create at calendarsnack.com. It's that easy. You can see in this fully qualified calendar um, client here, which is Google, I used uh, Christmas Day Dinner 2019 as a header. I filled in North Pole. I filled in content down here in the description area. And uh, that was about it. Short and sweet. And I sent a copy of this to create at calendarsnack.com. What happens there is that we actually transform this uh, calendar invitation off of your calendar into our event generation engine. You will receive a calendar notification um, here. Basically, it will say calendar snack, as you see upper left hand corner here, notification from at calendarsnack.com. This starts the cascading uh, process of you actually using our technology through the ease of clicking this URL here. Uh, in the documentation, you'll see under one, two, three, and four, various things in which one can do here with these click-through URLs on the first three. Uh, for this demo, I want you to focus on this here. You click here and you'll get a calendar uh, snack summary page right here. In the calendar snack event summary page, you'll see here indicated by the arrows, this eyeglass and the event summary up here. You'll see um, this uh, scroll bar at the top. It's actually not a scroll bar, but you'll see these uh, five modal boxes here. They indicate uh, how many events uh, or invites have been sent, how many have said yes, no, maybe, and none. You see your uh, calendar description here. We've consumed it and we put it into this format for you. Um, I'm going to drop right to MailChimp code. You'll see MailChimp code as indicated by the chimp icon. Um, you'll see it here at the top. You'll click MailChimp. By default, it um, drops you into MailChimp. And you can see here MailChimp copy code. It's as simple as this. You copy this code here into your clipboard and or if you want to copy paste it, uh, Using your um, browser, you can right here if you wish. If not, click here. It'll go to your clipboard. And the next step is to insert that code into a MailChimp call to action. So to speed things up, I've preset all this good stuff here. This is actually a screenshot out of a MailChimp template. Um, you can see here that I've identified this GIF image here as a call to action. And in the call to action, I've pasted in our API um, event code into this particular campaign right here. It's very simple, it's done all the time. Um, it's used for various um, reasons. However, for us, we're using the call to action in this demo here for MailChimp. And you'll see it right there. You paste it right into double click here. You'll get a response box. Um, you'll get an opportunity to insert various codes into here, and this is what I've done. So from here, um, this is post send. So after I sent my MailChimp campaign, you'll see that um, I sent this MailChimp campaign to Mandy at TechVader. You'll see evidence thereof via the sign by MailChimp.net app right here. And you'll see that MailChimp CTA as seen in the inbox after MailChimp campaign send. That's what this visual represents. Um, that code is in this call to action embed here. I've clicked it and you'll see what happens here um, in the next slide. Essentially, I click this and the RSVP is sent to me. So when I click the RSVP in the MailChimp campaign, I am immediately sent to a splash page. It says, thanks for registering. And this uh, landing page comes up here on the left. What happens in the background is we reroute that request to that sp specific uh, um, event. And our API sends out a calendar invite. And you'll see more evidence thereof of this in that it's signed by calendarsnack.com, sent to Mandy for Christmas Day. 
you see it here it's from rsvp at calendarsnack.com and um, you'll see what happens here on the next page so that is um, we drop right into the calendar snack reporting engine you click down here at the bottom um, you'll see a snack summary this is a snack summary of the event itself you'll see that there and then you'll see a summary report and this gets into the good stuff of granular detail of how my event is tracking across the mediums in this particular we're focused on MailChimp you'll see that they were a total of two MailChimp invitations sent in this case here not MailChimp but for calendarsnack.com I sent out two RSVPs particularly to the call to action campaign requests in the MailChimp templates and as evidence detailed evidence of that you'll see here under event detail under the reporting engine here on the left I moved it from summary to event detail in the screenshot and what I'm showing here is detailed evidence that Mandy received a calendar invitation and she accepted it as indicated right here so that's really cool nobody else does that and that's the granular detail you get with a calendar snack so more detailed reporting here of total invites sent out of uh, six total uh, RSVPs have actually been received there's a total of eight invitees that have interacted somehow with this event status uh, in particular the either web embeds and or other uh, mail email um, platforms that were used in particular I'm talking about MailChimp in specifics um, so that's why there's a difference uh, in the totals and report but specifically to this here a total of eight have been sent 75 percent have said said yes if I go back up you'll see that in various settings in web embeds and tests and actually this is a Clavio, believe it or not uh, here these three were used for or these four were used for Clavio. these two were used for MailChimp that's why you see the differences in their, uh, the overall reporting it's pretty cool there's no other platform that actually mixes the ability to use Clavio and MailChimp by the way um, but in specific I'm tracking Mandy here and that's a wrap up if you want to go see anything more uh, here about this you can actually click here and actually go interact with this calendar um, snack itself it's live and it's for december 25th 2019 so you got plenty of time here since it's june or coming up on june and thanks for stopping by